So for 25 years at Opera Holland Park, we've been persuading people that opera is no more than just a great night out. It's fabulous music, it's wonderful drama, an emotional roller coaster. The thing is, not everyone's persuaded. So I've asked a few of my pals to take a journey into opera. And two of them couldn't be less keen. I think people consider it uh, a bit of a, a bit of a novelty that I'm a, a Chelsea fan and and a, and a soul boy and a bit of a punk and I like the opera, which is a little bit odd, but um, I can't deny it. I love the opera. What else are you passionate about? Would you say other than Chelsea? Family, my family, I love passionately, dearly, but other than that, it's mainly football. And music. Music. I love some bands, certain bands, and. You know, the old ska music and yeah. Northern Soul. Family, yeah, two boys and a daughter, six grandkids. Wow. Yeah, Greeks. The opera is a chance for me to uh, completely let my emotions flow. I've, I've been known to be driving along in the car, channel hopping, I hear a bit, say like, something coming through loud. Right. No vocals, just music, like right. classical, I think okay. you call it. All right. And I've not been known to like turn it up and that gets you a little bit. Yeah, that gets me a little bit. Yeah, Chelsea, yeah, been there first game seventy one. Everton at home, one three one. I can't really remember the match, but I remember the noise in the shed. Yeah. Walking around the back of the shed with my old man, I just thought, ah, oh, I'm definitely coming back here. Well, I think they're going to I think they're gonna enjoy it because the Traviata is uh, is an opera that you can't really it, you know, it's it's a it's a it's a good opera for anyone to start at. Um, it's classic tunes that they'll know. Um, but yeah, I, I think they're going to find it. Um, I'm sure they're going to come out of there and say that they've enjoyed the experience. Mm. Um, but my slight worry about it is is that you know, will they uh, will they really uh, appreciate it as much as they will do? Like, will they go again? Basically, I'll give you my opinion of of it. Yeah. You know, I'll yeah. be up front. I'll tell you the truth. If I enjoy it, then maybe I'd look to go again. Yeah. Maybe take the missus along. Yeah. Let her experience it as well. Yeah. So yeah, the opera thing. I'm kind of looking forward to to it in a thing, in a in a way like. So Adam. <laughs> <laughs> Before I would have just said, Nah, that's for mugs. I'm not going there, mate. What, what will people think of me? Do you know what I mean? All that stuff. What I would like to ask you as a man who knows and loves opera is what does it mean to you? For me, the opera is a, a musical journey experience. Um, it's like a very, very um, uh, elaborate um, piece that I can appreciate more as I get older. First word that came in my head was Ponzi. That's straight away, that's what, you said opera, the head went Ponzi. You know what I mean? And that's the old stuff straight away. There's no, yeah, it might be this or that. Straight away, even now, it said Ponzi. What's that, what's that all about? So Rob, listen, for years I've been asking you about going to the opera and you've been saying to me, no chance will you ever get me into a theatre to watch opera. So now you are. So what changed? You cracked me. You've cracked me. You're getting me along. I'm, I'm coming along. I'm going to have a, you know, watch it and have an honest opinion of it. But you've been asking me so many times. I'm getting on a bit now. 50. Let's go for it. You know, bit of a blow, this and that, but inside really, bit of a big softy.
Fantastic. Uh, no, from my heart, I thought it was really good. Some yeah. of them, I don't know what you call them, like the the crescendos or whatever, mm. just yeah, made yeah. my veins sort of pump. Yeah. You know, really good. Mm. Makes your hair stand on end. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> if you had it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it would do. <laughs> Harry, I saw yeah. you, you know, you had the eye, you might be falling asleep to be fair, but we, your eyes were closed. You I was were really about, I think it was no, the second, think about it. I was thinking about chorus. my sister when we were kids in Cyprus, going down to the melon field and down the beach when we were kids. And yeah, it was, uh, it was great. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. Yeah. Just that just, they, they warmed up with happy birthday, and I think that got us going yeah, right I away, didn't it? When I think they started we, we were already looking at each other then, weren't we? Yeah, it was uh, yeah, superb. When the women started singing as well, like you know, because we had it in the Greek church, you know, you you get the the, the women they start singing, and but I just thought, wow, ah, you know, it was it was an experience. Mm -hmm. I actually feel sorry for people that miss out on this on the opera because I can honestly say that there are moments when, for example, at Opera Holland Park, in the outdoors, 9 p.m., a couple of glasses of red wine, yeah. after the interval, the light, you know, that's gone down and you've got something amazing, the orchestra's right in front of you, the whole thing's happening. Honestly, I could not be in a better place in, yeah. my, in the world yeah. than that. You know, everything is happening to me yeah. uh, and, and I'm just completely focused on that opera. You yeah. know, it's fantastic, the music. But one of the things I feel about that is, is that the more you go to the opera, so you've got to get the people through that first initial, your school teacher friend, yeah, you know, yeah. poor guy, because what he was trying to do was absolutely right. You wanted to give the They've kids what he just it. discovered late in life. Yeah. 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 And Even if they saw a rehearsal well, or something. I, well, exactly that. Yeah. Where do you sort of sit down, the lights go out, and then a hundred in an orchestra start mm -hmm. playing at you, whatever it is. Yeah. That is... Yeah. That's a massive sound. And you don't get it from any set no. of stereo speakers at all. No. You get it from being there. There's, there's just nothing no. to swap it for life. No. You just have to get it once. Oh, good, good there, <laughs> there. Hey, Bob. There's a lot of banter going on. Yeah. 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 Get ready for you. We're all taking the piss, like, you know. What's about on the Facebook thing? No, on the, uh, on the job, on the building side. Oh, yeah. We're all taking the piss. Go to your pool, you're an old air. Oh, I bet, they, bet they asked you Monday how it was. Yeah. Yeah, they will. Do. They'll yeah. Talk, they'll talk about the interesting yeah. like. You know, yeah. Yeah. Well, they, they seem to. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not sure if they really were, but. I bet, yeah, I bet they're finding it a bit odd. Definitely, yeah, a bit strange, definitely. A bit Some people are a bit different. Well, maybe imagine. deep down there, maybe closet. Well, this is the thing, right? Opera and classical. You put it on there, yeah. then yeah. I'll say, I'll go in opera, this and that. They say, we're going there, and then, and then it kind of comes out. I'll be in opera. 
I say, have you? Yeah. She said, yeah. You're quite good, actually. I'd like to go again and all that, like, you know. Well, I saw one of your mates, or it might have been one of yours. Somewhere, anyway, someone posted up on Facebook the other day as a comment box and said, I did go once, you know, and it wasn't for me. And I thought, I know Danny. why I'm that. That's exactly what we were talking about the other yeah. day. Because I know what he did there. Someone said to him, come on, come on, on the opera. And he went sort of, didn't do any research into it. God knows what opera it was. Could have been anything. Yeah. And he just went there and said, right, come on, entertain me. Go on, do it. And I absolutely was sure it would have been over his head, you know, because he, you know, it could have been any, yeah. any piece. Whereas tonight you're going to see something that's nailed on. Well, I'm glad. It's a good opera. I'm you know, glad you're going to you, enjoy that. You'll yeah. part, because not me and Rob, well, we're novice, we've never been. So we. We got you. I'll tell you when to stand up and cheer. Oh, yeah, right. that's it. Start singing. <laughs> Is that join in? Yeah. You're there, but make the stage. Yeah. And then invite, invite anyone up on the stage, volunteers. You know, don't go. No, no, no. no. Don't no go. Don't don't go. Go. They'll get you singing. Yeah. Last time I was in Bow Street in a suit, I was in court <laughs> over there. I don't think that exists anymore. After the Bow final, will it? Station, I think. I think it's got a nice building, though. And what fine did you get? How much? One fifty. <laughs> Who would have thought it from Bow Street to the Opera House? <laughs> Oh, I really enjoyed it. I'm, I'm, I'm shocked and surprised, really, how much I enjoyed it. Really? Yeah, I really am, yeah. Because it's, it's never been my thing, really. Being from, like, a council state in Peckham, coming to an opera, I, I'm surprised how much I enjoyed it. There was a few moments in there where, you know, when there's, like, two or three people on stage and it's you're thinking, come on, but when the old chorus lot come out, 50, 60 people, crescendo goes up there. I was like, oh yeah, this is what I'm here for. It's been a really great week. What fun we've had, really, you know, and seeing uh, the fellas, Harry and Rob, enjoying it, seeing opera for the first time. Yeah, it's been good. I didn't know how they were going to react to it, but I was sitting right close to them and I could see that they were, you know, they were really into it, you know, at the right moments and, and, and you know, it's, you know, it's, it, it, it's, it's a new experience for them. Me, I was, you know, absolutely there and enjoying it. Royal Opera House, you know, downstairs in the stalls. Okay, Harry. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's great. It's, uh, I understood the story. I bought the story. Um, I, I got into it all along. I, I knew what was coming in, and but it was really, really good. So how was your first experience? Yeah, it's, uh, it's hard to put into words. It's such a... The fact that those fellas could come here, be part of this, sit there for, you know, all of the three acts of uh, Traviata, and come out the other side and tell us that they enjoyed it, which I assume they did, uh, I think says says for something, but I am absolutely convinced that they will now go back and tell people actually, well, the night of the opera, you know, it's not such a bad thing, nothing to be dismissed, that's for sure. And uh, hopefully they'll be they'll be here again. So you own me now. We've Sorry. Made several bets over the years. I'd never get this in the opera. Yeah. Oh, so. Off screen, I pay you. <laughs> all right. Worth it. Yeah, definitely. Really enjoyed it. Yeah. And I, I never cried, like you said I would, except when I bought that bottle of wine, 21.50. <laughs> uh, the end, it was, 
you couldn't help but be moved really. Do you know what I mean? It was a uh, she what I got from it really was that she wanted to be forgiven. And love forgave her. See? And that's when the emotion starts, when you think about that stuff. Love forgave her, then she had to give it all away. And then at the end, she, it was all about forgiveness and love. And it was unbelievable, really. You know, once you got into the... You know. So you, uh, it's a new world for you, eh? It's, it's, uh, it's a real eye-opener. Eye like, you know, it's, it's been amazing, a couple of weeks, really. You know, first time I ever lived in Swap or indoors, and I didn't come to the, you know, the opera, and, and whatever and um